So here we have number 16, we're trying to solve for t. That's what this problem tells us to do, to solve for t. But it gives us some background information about this equation. And this equation, t is positive, or t is greater than zero. Whenever you see t is greater than zero, they're telling you that when you solve this equation, that t is positive. So therefore, if you get a negative value for t, you can just disregard that, just throw it out. It don't count, it don't matter, because it tells you that t is positive. So if you get a negative answer, the negative answer don't count. You just can disregard that, it's irrelevant. Now. Look at this equation. You got t squared minus 4 equals 0. It's a couple things you could do. We could use the square root property or we could factor. I'm more of a fan of factoring because this is a binomial and it's a difference of two squares. That's a perfect square, t squared. 4 is a perfect square and there's a minus sign in between. So there's a factoring method called the, using the difference of two squares. This is how you do it. You create two binomials. I just draw the parentheses first, right? And then I take the square root of t squared, which is t because t times t equals t squared. I take that t and I write one in the first parentheses in the first space, and I write one in the second parentheses in the first space. Then I take the square root of the second term, which is four. I take the square root of the four, which is two. I put a two in the second space in the first parentheses, and I put a two in the second space in the second parentheses. Then I put a plus sign in one set of parentheses, and I put a minus sign in the other set of parentheses. That's how you factor using the difference of two squares method. That's all it is to it. Now, sometimes you got to keep doing the process over and over again. If you take the square root of something and that still is a square root, that happens sometimes in the more advanced problems. But that's not happening here. This is real straightforward. So this is just t plus 2 times t minus 2. So we broke this binomial down into two factors. t plus 2 is one, t minus 2 is the other one. So then because this is an equation, we just set up two simple equations. t plus 2 is equal to 0 and t minus 2 is equal to 0. So if I solve for t over here, I'm going to do minus 2 on the left side. I'm going to do minus 2 on the right side. So I got t equals negative 2. Now, what did this say in the beginning? t is positive. t is greater than 0. So therefore, this is irrelevant. We can disregard that. Even though it's a, it's a correct answer, so to speak, it does not count here because you were told in the beginning of the problem that t is positive. And this negative 2 is not a positive number. So then we go over here. We do plus 2 on the left side. We do plus 2 on the right side. And we got t is equal to 2. So that's the only answer that we care about. All right? t plus 2.